Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up webhook inside Dashly. So Dashly is a customer communication platform with the help of which the businesses can communicate with their customers more effectively and efficiently. So here I'm going to show you step by step that how you can set up a connection between Dashly and Pabli Connect to transfer the data from Dashly towards any other application automatically. And that we are going to do with the help of webhook. So webhook acts as a bridge for setting up connections between different applications applications and for transferring the data from one application towards another on the happening of a specific event automatically. So here I will show you step by step how to set up webhook inside Dashly. For that, before moving forward, you can see on my screen there are two windows, trigger and action. Now what are these? Trigger and actions are the basic concepts or we can say that these are the building blocks of our automation on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response to what the word trigger. So whatever we are going to select in a word trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. For example, because here I'm setting up the webhook inside Dashly, so my trigger will be Dashly over here. So let's say I want that whenever a user is going to send me a message on Dashly. So I want to capture the response of that and automatically I want to transfer that response towards any other application. Let's say I want to add the details in Google Sheets. So I'm going to add Google Sheets in my action step. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the message is received from a user in Dashly, then only the details of that message will be added in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the concept of trigger in action, let's start setting up the connection. For that, we have to go towards our trigger step first of all, and here we have to select our trigger application that will be Dashly. So let's select that. After selecting the application, here we have to select the trigger event. Now, trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger. So you can see we have multiple options over here, user band, answer the message, visitor merge, message read, and etc. So on the happening of whichever specific event you want to capture the response from Dashly in Pabli Connect, you have to select that specific event over here. I want that whenever a user is going to send me a message, then I want to capture the response. So. So here my trigger event will be user started a chat conversation. As I have selected my trigger event, we have received a webhook URL along with some instructions. So we have to follow these instructions step by step to set up the connection. And for that, the URL which is received is going to act as a bridge for setting up the connection and for transferring the data from Dashly towards Pabli Connect whenever a message will be received. So we will simply copy the webhook URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So first of all, in order to set up the connection, you have to log into your Dashly account. I have already done that. So this is my Dashly account. And here we have to go towards integration section from the left side. After coming over here, when we'll scroll down, here we will see the option of webhook. So we have to select that. Now here we have to create a new webhook in order to add the webhook URL and to set up the connection. So let's click on create integration button. And here we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. First of all, then we have to select the events. So whichever event you have selected in Pabli Connect, you have to select the same event over here so that on the happening of that, you will receive the response automatically through the webhook URL. So here my event will be user started a chat conversation. So this is my event. Now you can also provide a name to this integration for whichever reason you are creating this webhook and you're setting up the connection, you can give according to that. So here, let's say I'm going to give the name as new message received, just a random name. And now here I'm going to click on save integration to set up this connection. And here we can see that our integration with the webhook is added. Now when I'm going to go back towards webhooks, here we can see that the webhook which we have recently created with a name as new message received is added over here and it is active. So now I'm going to go back towards Pabli Connect. It is showing waiting for webhook response over here. So now we have to do a test submission so that the response could be captured. And how we are going to do that? By performing the same event which we have selected in trigger event. So my event is user started a chat conversation. So when I'm going to send a message on my account on Dashly, I will soon receive a response over here in Pabli Connect for that. So I'm going to open my account in incognito mode so that I can send the message. So this is the space of Dashly account which I have created for the users. So now whenever a user is going to visit this page and they will set the message, I'm going to receive the message in Pabli Connect automatically. So I'm going to click on this message icon and here I'm going to send the message. Let's say this is a test message. Okay, so here I'm going to click on send. 
and as the message is sent let's go back towards public connect here the user has sent the message you can see these are the details of the user and we can see in public connect immediately the response is being captured and in the response we have received all the details this is the user id here we have received the region from which the message is received this is the scene time that at what time we have seen the message and here are all other details along with this we have also received the exact message which we have received this is a test message okay so you can see that our connection is successful now whenever a message will be received on our dashly account immediately the response is going to be captured of that message with all the details in pably connect and further when you will set up this connection successfully you will be able to automatically send this response to any other application by adding the action steps for example you want to add the details in google sheets so you can add google sheets in your action application and also so you can send this response to your team members on your discord or slack channel now i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pably connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pably.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations